Hello everybody and welcome back to our brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. I hope you're all having a great day. We go to the Truck Series at Texas today and Michigan for both Xfinity and the Cup Series. So in the Truck Series, we had subscriber James Johnson in the truck. He didn't have the greatest qualifying ever, still struggling to get the R&D going. But surprisingly, we would have a truck capable of fighting our way throughout the field respectively. Obviously right now it was looking pretty bad, but as it came towards the final stages of this race he had worked his way up to 17th actually behind the 20 truck as he came through turns three and out of turn four for the final time here in texas so james johnson would come through in our truck to get a 17th place finish for us so a pretty solid result now and as we cut straight through to the xfinity series we had noah gregson back in the car starting in about the 15th position as he went down towards uh, turns one he started 17th i should say now as uh, justin ogier led the way Noah would also be able to work his way through the field just like James Johnson did in our truck and Gregson by the time he came to the final lap of this race had gone all the way up to P4 as he was coming through turns 3 and turns 4 for the final time here at Michigan so Gregson comes through down the front straight away he is going to manage to finish in the fourth position for us so a great result by Gregson there as now we uh, get to set our sights on the cup series race here at Michigan finally in Pocono we turned this slump that we were in around we had a top 10 we actually uh, had a top five so i was expecting some good things here in michigan not necessarily in qualifying and you're going to see that now as you come through and cross the line going p18 with a 37.550 so we certainly got our work cut out for us uh, in this race to move our way forward so hopefully we can get a top 10 here by the end of stage one so let's get to it at michigan the stars of nascar thunder into michigan international speedway for today's running of the fire keepers casino 400 this D-shaped two-mile oval is nestled in the tranquil and scenic Irish Hills area of southeastern Michigan. However, this locale will be anything but tranquil today, as this sprawling landscape plays host to the best race car drivers in the world. Michigan is fast. In fact, the track is the fastest track on the schedule, with speeds often reaching more than 200 miles per hour. So you better buckle up, because NASCAR racing is coming up next. All right, we're ready to go green here for the Firekeepers Casino 400 at Michigan International Speedway. Reed Sorensen crashed during qualifying, so he is starting at the bank with a backup car. As Almirola failed optical scanning station multiple times, so he starts at the bank. As you see, your pole winner, Brad Kozlowski. we got two Penske cars on the front row. It's Kozlowski and Joey Logano, who still looks for win number one on the season, or win number one since a few seasons back now here in our career mode. Now is ready to go green as the green flag is out, and we are underway here at Michigan International Speedway behind the number 40 and the 20 of Jones and McMurray as we head down towards turns one on the inside we got Chris Bush from the number 37 car as Kozlowski and Logano lead the way into turns one Kurt Busch and Kyle Busch on that second row as we come through turns one and turns two Austin Dillon already three wide up on the top getting shuffled out as we come through on the exit of turn two heading down the back straightaway Kozlowski clear for the lead as Logano fades down to that third position looking to get to the inside as quick as possible now as we do just that as we go down into turn three just barely clearing busher and now we make a three wide with mcmurray and dylan and we're going to get up into the 15th position as we exit turn four heading down the front straight away a little bit of contact there with the 40 of mcmurray now as we look to the inside of harvard coming through to start the second lap side by side with the four of harvard as we head down towards turns one to the inside of Clint Boyer now as we go into turns one Harvick hits me from behind and spinning the four car goes now as we get hit again by the three and the caution's gonna fly here in Michigan it certainly did not take long to have some drama here Harvick just went to turns one and hit me in the bumper almost took me out but instead he took himself I'm not sure what that was about but we have to keep focused here on the rest of this first stage from the 15th position as we get ready to go back green. Now as the green flag is out from behind the 14 of Clint Boyer, Austin Dillon here on the outside as we come through to cross the line. And it will be 10 laps to go here in this first stage. So certainly still got enough time to get into the top 10, obviously. Uh, the draft is pretty big at this racetrack, so we can probably even get a top 5 if we play our cards right here in stage 1. Now as we come through turns 1 and on the exit of turn 2, heading down the back straight away on the inside of Austin Dillon behind us we got McMurray and McDowell and as he came through on the front straightaway the next time we would be able to make it three wide there with Boyer and get past him and Hamlin and look to the inside of Menard as well and make a pass on Paul Menard as he came through turns one we then close up to the back of Martin Truex Jr. we would fall in line behind him and that would help me pass both Chase Elliott 
and Ryan Blaney. And then we would come through to pass Kyle Larson as we had followed Truex. And now uh, we get up in front of Larson to take the seventh position and we uh, sit behind Truex at this moment as we had five to go in this first stage. So as we come through straight to the final lap, we had gone absolutely nowhere. Still sitting right behind Truex with Larson right behind me as we come through turns one and it turns two for the final time here in the state. Closing up on the back of Truex. I would love to certainly beat him so we can maybe try to get away from him here in the state two. Now as you head down the back straight away for the final time, if we go inside, he's going to wreck me. So we got to try and make it work on the top, but that's certainly going to be no easy task. Now as we send it up the outside here through turns three and turns four side by side with the rival of Martin Truex Jr. Try to, trying to side draft him, unable to do so now as we come through down the front straightaway. Truex is going to hold us off, and now Larson looks to the inside, but we barely hold him off for the seventh position here in stage one. So a solid result, getting four points uh, to our name here at the first stage, as your stage winner would be Kyle Busch. Alex Bowman, our teammate in second, we would pit for two cans of field and four tires and come out still in P7. And we have Martin Truex Jr. right here on the outside in front of us for the start of this stage. So certainly need to develop a strategy to get past him now as the green flag is back out. Stage 2 is underway immediately. Truex trying to come down on me and even Joey Logano. So we're going to try and make a 3 wide as we head down towards turns 1 with Joey Logano now with a chance maybe to get clear of Martin Truex Jr. now as Kyle Busch leads away with his brother of Kurt Busch right on his back bumper with our teammate Alex Bowman on the outside leading that outside lane. Now as we come out of turn 2, Truex gets shuffled out of lanes and he is send, uh, he's heading backwards so we get away from Truex for now and thankfully we can focus on the rest of this race as we're up now into the fifth position passing Joey Logano as we go down into turn three so a great start here in this second stage as we exit turn four clear of Logano as we set our sights to look to the inside of Alex Bowman by using the draft from Kozlowski but we're actually going to get up behind Bowman and try to help him out a little bit as we cross the line heading down towards turns one. And now Kevin Harvick has actually worked his way back up into P6 behind me. Obviously, earlier on lap two, he was the one that uh, hit me in the bumper and wrecked himself. Now, as we actually look to the inside of our teammate of Alex Bowman, as we go down the back straightaway, we would be able to get ahead of Alex as we went down towards turn three, clearing him for the fourth position. Now, Kyle Busch leads the way still over his brother of Kurt Busch in second, and it's Kozlowski in that third position. As he came through now on lap four, you see Kyle Busch had actually gotten shuffled out as we just passed him there as he went down towards turns one he got pushed out to the outside and we got passed with no problems at all now is this triple behind and it's Ryan Newman the number six who blows the right front tire and into the wall he goes and the caution is going to fly here in Michigan we have no need to pit at this point so we stay out and get ready to go green from the third starting position now as the green flag is back out and once again we are underway behind us it's Kyle Busch and Kyle Larson beside us we got Harvick as now we try to make it three wide here with Kurt Busch and Kislowski for the lead as we go down towards turns one a great restart as we go down into the first corner clear for the lead for a moment here in Michigan a great restart for us as we come through turns one and turns two Kislowski not a good restart for him obviously now as Kurt Busch is already building up the momentum down the straightaway. He's going to look to my outside as you head down towards turns three. Kyle Busch with help behind me now as we go down into turn three side by side with Kurt at the moment. Now as we come through pushing up the track though and this is going to allow Kurt Busch to come through to pass me and Kozlowski would come through on the outside as well to make a pass as you see him coming through. He would drive right on pass as well so we would fall in line behind Kozlowski as we were approaching now two laps to go in the second stage but a caution would come out and end the second stage a little bit early as we get credited with a third place finish here in stage two. And we would pit for two cans of fuel and four tires and Ryan Newman stays out from that pit stop now as the green flag is back out. The final stage is underway. Newman just blew a tire a while back and now here he is leading this race after staying out. A very interesting call from that team now as we push Kurt Busch down towards turns one trying to make this outside work. Obviously being on the outside there's a good chance we're going to get shuffled back here on this opening restart in this final stage unless we can get clear of Ryan Newman now as we come through on the exit of turn two. He's going to build up the momentum as we head down the back straightaway so definitely not going to get to that inside now so certainly it's just all about playing our cards right getting to the bottom as quick as possible as we go down towards turns three they'll make it a bit of a mistake on the entrance and that allows our teammate of Alex Bowman to my inside he makes it three wide with myself and Joey Logano now as we exit turn four so we fade in behind them and now battle alongside Kyle Busch and the number 18 car as we cross the line sitting P7 now after uh, being in fourth at the beginning of that restart to start stage three as we go down into turns one. Now Kyle Larson looked to my inside as we come out of turn two. A little bit of contact made there with the 42 and we get sideways and now that allows Martin Truex Jr. He's going to come through to get ahead as we went down the back straightaway. 
So we fall in behind our teammate of Elliot now as he came through a few laps later, passing them back as we make a three wide with Elliot and Truex. And now we got a big run on Ryan Newman. So we look to the inside of him and we get past him. So we get past Truex again now as you went down towards turns one. Elliot was just kind of a pick for myself to make that move. So we get back up to six and then we would actually lose a spot to Kyle Busch now as he came through with just 10 laps to go in this race. It's a seven car breakaway at this point this turned into as we come through to cross the line passing Kyle Busch as we go down towards turns one. It's Kozlowski leading the way. Kozlowski certainly has had a fast car. He started on pole and there you see second starting position of Joey Logano here on my outside now as we come through on the exit of turn two. Not a lot of help though with the draft as we head down the back straightaway Logano. He is pulling ahead. Now Kyle Busch is going to look to my outside as well as we go down towards turns three. So there he sits our teammate of Alex Bowman in fourth, Logano fifth, and Kyle Busch gets clear of me for P7. So we stay back in the seventh position. Now it's come through on lap 45, heading down towards turn three. It's our teammate of Alex Bowman blowing an engine as we go down into the third turn, and the caution is going to fly now late here in Michigan, which will force a two-lap restart, I think it is. No, actually, it is three laps here on this restart for green, and it's a very slow restart for everybody, but if I, I change my lane, obviously, that's against the rules, so I decided to kind of follow the rules now as we start to get going. Obviously, you don't get black flag for that in the game, but I still don't like taking advantage of the AI like that uh, because it's really, a, that would have been breaking a rule in real life, so I decided to follow it now as we come through turns one and turns two. Not a good restart on this outside now, and now Martin Truex Jr. gets to my inside as we go down the back straightaway. Just lovely to deal with him, and and sure enough, Truex puts me into the wall now with two times as we go down towards turns three. And that was certainly a bad time for Truex to do that. We've had a great race, and then he comes through to put me outside of the top ten. So not what he should have done, because I was looking for revenge right away at this moment. We would pass both of those cars there in front of us and move up to P9 here on this final lab uh, now as we went down the back straightaway. But I had full intentions of sending it to overtime now. Here as we went down towards turn three within range of Truex. And we get to his back bumper. And we punt the 19 finally. Spinning out Truex now as we come through out of turn four. And the caution flies. And that forces overtime now once again here at Michigan. I didn't really want to take him out, but he just messed up our race there at the end, so I decided to get payback now as overtime again here in Michigan is underway from the eighth position on the outside, but we're going to be very aggressive now as we're going to try and make it through the middle between Logano and Kislowski as we go down towards turns one, making a little bit of contact with some drivers as we go three wide up the middle between Dylan and Kyle Busch all the way up to P4 at the moment now as we come through turns one and turns two, Kurt Busch and Kevin Harvick lead the way as we head down the back straightaway with a lap and a half to go here. And Michigan is three wide behind us between Logano, Kozlowski, and Kyle Busch as we go down towards turn three. Austin Dillon having a great run here in P4 as Kozlowski and Logano get to my inside now as we go through turns three and turns four approaching the final lap here in Michigan down to the seventh position as we come through the trioval. Logano clear so we fall in line behind him as we cross the line with the white leg in the air. Now we look to the inside of Logano as we go down towards turns one. Kyle Busch about a car length, a uh, half a car length behind us. So now as we come through turns two, now making the pass on Joey Logano there. But he's going to battle back as we head down the back straightaway trying to use that draft from Kislowski to my advantage as we head down towards turns three in the sixth position. Kurt Busch leads the way looking to lock himself into the playoffs after a rough start to the regular season as we come through turns three and turns four sliding up the track now as we exit the corner. But Kurt Busch is going to come through to win in the Michigan and we come through to finish in the seventh position. Kurt Busch locks himself now into the playoffs as he was actually I don't think in on points quite yet but Eric Jones with the second place finish. Truex down in 13th as Ryan Priest rounds out a top 30 and then Paul Menard and our teammate both Alex Bowman they both DNF uh, down in 39th in 40th so unfortunate for them but we still get a pretty solid seventh place finish we, we got revenge on Martin Truex Jr. and we still got a top 10 finish out of it so I considered that a pretty good race obviously like I said we're trying to get rid of this rivalry but he just caught me at a bad moment where he just completely trying to wipe out a good race that we were having so I wasn't having any of it and I just went down and turned him but hopefully now we can try to get rid of this rivalry rivalry and as always if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to comment like and subscribe those would all be very very appreciated appreciated there as you see the playoff grid on your screen Cody we're still inside the playoffs, so I will see you guys in the next episode I think it's Sonoma we go to for the cup series so we will see how that goes thank you for watching everybody and have yourselves a great day